This recording is going to look at the fundamentals of setting up and using the online version of EndNote, known as EndNote Online. EndNote is a reference management system that helps you to store and manage references in your own account, as well as helping you to create citations and reference lists within your own work. This recording will look at registering for an EndNote online account, creating groups, folders within your new account, selecting the correct bibliographic style, the correct referencing style, manually adding a reference to your account, adding attachments to reference entries, checking for duplicates, and creating a bibliography, the reference list, within EndNote Online itself. This recording will be focusing on the online version, but EndNote is available in two formats. EndNote Online is the web-based version, and EndNote Desktop is a software program that you can install onto your device. Both versions can be synchronised with each other, so they can be used together. For more information about EndNote Desktop and about how to install the application onto your device, please visit the referencing libguide. You can register online by going to EndNote's sign up page to register an account using your QMU email address. However, to gain full functionality access through QMU subscription, you will need to install EndNote Desktop first and then register an account through the application. Instructions on how to do this can be found on the referencing libguide. If you experience any problems, please contact your liaison librarian. Their details can be found within the library's web pages. Within the referencing libguide, there is a link to allow you to log in to EndNote Online. You're asked to enter your QMU email address and the password you've created before clicking on the sign in button. When you log into your account for the first time, it will look something like this. There will be options along the top that will help you organise and manage your account. There will be options on the left hand side that you can start to personalise. Once your account is set up, the first thing you might wish to do is set up the bibliographic style you're going to use. Within QMU, there are two main referencing styles, Harvard and APA. Your department will let you know what version they wish you to use. Within your account, you can select the appropriate bibliographic style. To do this, go to the Format tab, select Bibliography, and then choose Select Favourites. From the pop-up box, scroll down to select your style and click on the Copy Favourites option. EndNote then moves your selected style into the My Favourites box. Now click on the Hide option to remove the pop-up box. By creating your chosen style as a favourite, it will now appear in the drop-down menu within the Bibliographic Style field. By following this process, it makes it much easier to choose the correct style. Next, you may wish to start creating groups, folders, to help organise your references. To create a group, go to the Organise tab, select Manage My Groups, click on the New Group button, enter name for the group, and then click the OK button. The new group will be automatically added to your account. The next step is to start to populate your account with references. One way to do this is to manually add references. Within your EndNote account, select the Collect tab and then the New Reference option. In the page provided, you can populate the fields with the item's details. You can also add attachments to the entry in the Attachments section. The new entry will automatically be saved to the Unfiled folder, unless a specific folder is selected from the Group field, 
found at the bottom of the page. When finished, click Save. The Unfile group is automatically added by a note to every new account. With any addition to the account, EndNote will automatically add it to the Unfile group, unless another group is specified by the user. You are also able to export references from databases. Further information about how to do this can be found either in the database's help guides or in QMU's referencing libguide. EndNote will also allow you to attach documents from your device to references once they've already been added to your account. To do this, select the group that the citation is within from the list on the left hand side under My Groups. Open the citation record you wish to add an attachment to by clicking on its title. This will bring up the references record. In the Attachments section, click on the Attach Files option. In the box that appears, click on a Choose File button to select a file to be uploaded from your device. A maximum of five files can be uploaded. Once the file has been selected, click on the Upload button. You will receive confirmation when the upload has been successful. If you wish to add more files, click on the Upload More Files option. If you're finished uploading, click the Close button. In the citation record, the document will now appear in the attachment section. To go back to the group, either click on it from the list on the left hand side or select the Return to List button at the top of the screen. You will notice that the paperclip icon is now highlighted. By clicking on this highlighted icon, you can now open up the attachment. As you start to populate your folder, you may find that you're collecting duplicated references. To help you to keep order, EndNote has an inbuilt feature that allows you to ask it to check for duplicate records. To do this within your account, click the Organise tab and then the Finds Duplicates option. EndNote will run a check to compare the details of the citations within your account. Once the search has been completed, EndNote will produce a list of all the records it has identified as duplicates. It will automatically select all but one of the duplicates for each title. Once you've checked and you're happy with the records the EndNote has selected, you can delete the duplicate records by clicking on the Delete button. If EndNote runs the check but can find no duplicate references, it will produce a confirmation notice to identify this. You can create a reference list from within your EndNote account. To do this, go to the Format tab and select the Bibliography option. And from there, you'll be presented with options. In the References field, from the drop-down menu, choose the group you wish to create a reference list for. You can create a reference list that includes all the references in your account by selecting the All References in My Library option. In the Bibliographic Style field, choose the drop-down menu to select your favourite style. If you've not selected your chosen style as a favourite, you can still find the style by clicking on the Select Favourites option and scrolling through until you find the correct style. Then check the Copy to Favourites option, where it will be moved to your My Favourites box. Then you can click the Hide button to close the pop-up box. In the File Format option, choose the format you wish the list to be created in. You can save the list, you can email it to yourself or colleagues, or you can preview the references before printing a copy. This recording 
has introduced the fundamentals of using EndNote online. For further information, please go to QMU's Referencing Guide.